movies. Mutilation, decapitation, torture. Does that sound entertaining? More blood than a blood bag. Have we got your attention? Welcome back terrestrials to the quarantine movie reviews. In this very sad episode, we're talking about Seth Rogen's new movie, American Pickle. I was so excited. Let me tell you, I was so excited. I was ready to go. I It was recommended by somebody that I thought had good movie tastes. And it turns out they don't. So, uh, or they were just super miss on this one. Um, Seth Rogen plays himself in two different versions. One, he is from like 1910 or something, 1920. And he is an immigrant, a Jewish immigrant. Um, he moves to America with a, his wife and falls into a giant bucket of pickles and is sealed up for a hundred years. Um, he gets let out and, uh, the only surviving member of his family is his great grandson played by Seth Rogen. And, uh, it, it's just a story of him trying to adjust and I'm sure there's some lessons in there somewhere. Uh, guys, the movie fucking sucks so <laughs> fucking bad, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. It sucks so bad. Um, and I like Seth Rogen. I really do. I find him funny. I thought two of him, that's going to be hilarious. Yeah. It worked and, for Jack and Jill. <laughs> all right. This, uh, this is garbage. So, um... It, I think it was worse than garbage. I think it was just boring. Yeah. I, it just... There was nothing to, like, nothing, hold on to. dude. Nothing. The characters... Okay, we'll call it Pickle Seth Rogen and Non-Pickle Seth Rogen. Yeah. Those... The two characters that he was trying to create were so, like... I don't care about these characters. There were no lessons learned. There were like maybe some like this one like like forced moment. But it was it was nothing the movie. It was nothing the movie. I just I sat through this movie. I just watched it this morning. I'm sorry. I, no, you don't have to apologize. Uh, uh, I, all I know is is that if this is the quality of production that HBO Max is going to start producing and stuff, it's going to end up like fucking Quibi. Like, yeah. you better get your shit together and start putting together some good quality stuff right now, HBO Max. They tried to do the same thing when you take the Iceman... I mean, the caveman out of ice. That's the term I'm going to have. You tried to have a couple things where he doesn't, like, oh, what is this? You know, and it fails just miserably. Know your history, kids. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I mean, not again, as bad as again, we are today. It, it, what, he wasn't in America, though. He was in America well, long yeah, enough to get right, an apartment so, yeah, okay. and a job killing rats. Uh, which, uh, there's the one part where, like, the reason he falls in the pickle vat is because the rats all gang up right, on him right, and stuff. Right. Heck nah, if he's getting 10 cents to kill rats, yeah. for every rat head he brings, he gets Give me 10 a chainsaw cents. or something. Oh, man, I, w I would be Charlie Daying those rats and stuff. Just, like, yeah, no killed sure. a whole <laughs> bunch of rats today down there in the... <laughs> and, like, whole rat families and whole rat... Like, just just families of rats, you know. But you can see what we're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. We are literally not talking about the movie because yeah, there's I'm, nothing. I'm fucking texting. Yeah. I, I hate this movie. Like, I really don't have anything to say about it. Like, watch it just so that maybe you will enjoy it. I don't know. Yeah. But honestly, like, I, I don't. The, like, as soon as we hit the record button, I was like, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> like, the whole movie was just dumb. The characters were, like, 
barely thought out. I, just there was nothing. It, it nothing the movie. Nothing the movie. Basically, I just I had no feeling for any character there. I could care less about all the events that happened in the movie. I don't know if this is how movies are going to be in quarantine. Where it's like, how do you make a movie when you can't get very many actors and everything has to be kind of like quarantined off and stuff? You make a movie with yourself, you know? Oh, God, no, please don't do that. Yeah. Do, do not take that formula. I think that this movie was already finished by the time quarantine hit and they've oh, just yeah. been editing and like getting it together because. <sighs> huh. And I hope that's not the future. Everybody, movies, every, man. everybody on the. You know, they're competent actors. Seth Rogen is a decent actor. I might not personally like him in his movies. I, I thank God he didn't do his long laugh that he. Yeah, does. he did very little laughing. Yeah, because if that laugh would, I would, I would probably cut it. I can't. There's just something about that noise. That <laughs> there was actually very little laughter. Yeah, from the audience too. Um, but yeah, there was just. Nothing about this movie that I want to talk about. No. Nothing. Oh man, this is this is just that 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 scum that they throw a title on and they try to make it look cool and sell it to markets and then nobody fucking watches it. You know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how much he got paid for this, but he stole it. Like, he fucking stole it. Got a page like, at least room. Adam Sandler will come up with a halfway cute movie every once in a while. If you sign him to, like, a six-movie contract like Netflix did. Like, you'll get at least a cute movie out of those six. This one was highway robbery, dude. He stole whatever money he made for that movie from... Because this is, like, an HBO original, so... yeah. This was like all their thing. Yeah, that's the funny thing too is that because it's original, they automatically put five stars on it, and there's five stars on it. And I was just like, someone was drunk when they put yeah. that on there. Ah, fuck it, give it five stars. I don't give a shit. My yeah. career's over. I watched this stupid movie. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. signed off on this piece of shit. I'm. I gotta go to fucking like Tubi now or something. Yeah. Like. Uh, you know there there was. One cameo in this from the Lonely Island Boys, uh, the, the one guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And boy, he didn't have nothing to do. He looked like he was he he literally looked like he. They paid him. He had his check in his front pocket of his suit, mm -hmm. and he sat on a chair and he delivered the lines as boring and cold as possible. He comes back later in the movie for something, but I don't know what it is. I don't remember. I mean, that might have been. There was one point I didn't play on my phone once watching this movie. You know what I did? I physically got up off the couch and I went in the kitchen and I made something to eat. Yeah. That's how you know, like, I can sit there and play on my phone and still pay attention to a movie. Yeah. You know, I do it all the time. But <laughs> this time, I physically removed myself from the situation yeah. and did something else. Other, It's just like, who cares if I miss parts? Yeah. You know, oh, they're in Canada. Or they're trying to go to fucking Canada. Oh, someone's getting deported. Like, I, I literally, um, I... Got up and I went and smoked a cigarette <laughs> and came back. And I was like, yep, yeah, didn't miss a fucking beat. Yeah. Like, at all. Yeah. The only thing that I could say about this movie that was relative, that was good, was I, I, I don't even know really how to say it. it it's just the uh the heritage the the pride of your heritage like huh. being proud that like you know the the little seth rogan was very much like don't visit my family's graves don't visit don't have much family history or knowledge and you know pickle rogan comes back and like kind of teaches them to ha so okay there's that storyline i guess but yeah, but that's like 10 seconds in the movie. They yeah, should yeah, have yeah. like fleshed that idea out. Like, oh, I'm not 
I, I have no faith right now and I have no, I don't, I don't think about my family or, you know, like they should have like not killed the parents off. They should have had the parents still there, but we just don't talk anymore and stuff, right. you know, and you know, it's like, I'm going to help you with that, you know, pickle Rogan to the, to the rescue and stuff. And, but there wasn't that. It was just like, I'm going to start a business. I've already started. I can't do a Rogan impression. But, yeah. Star. So, initially I wrote down three, but the more I've marinated on this, Holy I'm going to give you it. Went through. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. That's like um, a sympathy killing right there. <laughs> uh i gotta go one and a half like this this movie is just yeah. it's it's better than suburban squash squatch sam squanch but uh it's not better than anything else so. i'm gonna I'll, 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 i will argue that case and one reason is that to this day you still remember how much you hate it suburban Sasquatch. and i don't remember how much i hate american pickle no i guarantee by this time next year you're not even gonna you remember american pickle <laughs> Like barely, you know, I can see that, but you'll yeah, always remember true. that fucking guy in that Sasquatch outfit going rawr, 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 and shit. That is in your head permanently. That is like a permanent. I had actually picture. forgotten about that. The only thing that I really remembered from Suburban Sasquatch was the ridiculous um, arrows that they shot and uh, the. Um, the uh, 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 fact that the police had no badges yeah. or anything on their shirt. <laughs> but, yeah. This, I, my stars, I'm going to give it one star. Don't recommend it. Don't watch this. If you don't have a HBO Max, don't subscribe because you saw American Pickle on there and was like, you know, I want to check that out. You know, but then again, if you want to start a conversation and disagree with us completely saying that this was a great movie, go right ahead. Yeah, please give me a reason that this was a decent movie. Yeah. I will. I will rewatch it and go, you know, something, that person made a point. I won't. 